Dear sir, I write this note to you to tell you of my plight. And at the time of writing it, I'm not a pretty sight. My body is all black and blue, my face is deathly grey. I write this note to say why Paddy's not at work today. While working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. To throw them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased in being an awkward sod. He said I'd have to move the bricks down the ladders in me hard. Well, to move so many bricks by hand, it was so very slow. So I hoist up the barrel and secured the rope below. But in my haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. Now when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead, and clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket, to my dismay I found. Halfway up I met the bloody barrel coming down. Well, the barrel broke my shoulder as to the ground it sped. And when I reached the top, I banged the pulley with my head. I ain't gonna take the numb shock from this almighty blow. And the barrel spilled out half the bricks, 14 floors below. Now when those bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then I'd weighed the barrel and I started down once more. I hang on tightly to the rope, my body wrecked with pain. Halfway down I met the bloody barrel once again. Well, the force of this collision, halfway up the office block, gave me multiple abrasions and a nasty state of shock. I hang on tightly to the rope as I fell towards the ground, and I landed on the broken bricks that were scattered all around. As I lay groaning on the ground, I thought I'd pass the worst. Then the barrel hit the pulley wheel and the bottom burst. A shower of bricks rained down on me, I didn't have a hope. As I lay bleeding on the ground, I let go of the bloody rope. Well, the barrel then being heavier, it started down once more. It landed right across me as I lay there on the floor. It broke three ribs of my left arm. And I can only say, I hope you'll understand why Paddy's not at work today.